Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. As reported by the BBC on March 6, 2024, the British Tank Museum in Bovington, Dorset, teamed up with Cook Defence Systems, a UK-based company, in response to a directive from the Ministry of Defence. This collaborative effort aimed to reverse-engineer Soviet-era tank tracks using partial blueprints and materials sourced from Ukraine, alongside the museum's existing track samples. The initiative was initiated to support a defense firm supplying components to Ukraine amidst the ongoing conflict. The war in Ukraine inflicted significant damage to vehicles, particularly armored ones, which faced challenges due to the cessation or restructuring of production post the Soviet Union's collapse in 1991. Despite this, the Molochev plant in Kharkiv Oblast, Ukraine, continued operations, notably producing the T-64, T-80, and Oplot M main battle tanks. However, the factory became a target for Russian missile strikes multiple times, including attacks in March 2022, December 2022, and February 2023, highlighting the vulnerabilities of Ukraine's defense industry. Responding to the British Ministry of Defense's request, Cook Defense Systems, renowned for manufacturing tracks for British armored fighting vehicles since 1941, including the Challenger 2 tank, sought assistance from the Bovington Tank Museum to replicate their tracks through reverse engineering. William Cook Defense secured contracts to provide spare parts for approximately 500 Ukrainian-operated military vehicles, including Mount Pound, BMP, and T-72 models. Additionally, they were tasked with supplying tracks for tanks donated by Britain to Ukrainian forces, such as the Challenger 2. The reverse engineering process faced several challenges, including the development of a new steel alloy to match original Soviet specifications and redesigning welded and forged components for modern manufacturing techniques. David Willey, curator at the Tank Museum, expressed pride in the museum's contribution, stating, when we can help industry and our allies, of course, we should. We are very pleased to hear the reproduced track is now arriving in Ukraine, underscoring the museum's commitment to supporting industry and allies while preserving military history. That's all for now. See you later.